Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Google Certified Innovator and Trainer. Today, I'm taking a little bit of a break from education strategies to do a little product review. Yes, this here is the Asus Chromebook C302, sometimes it's called the C302A. I'll link in the description the precise one I purchased. I really like this Chromebook. I'm about a week into using it. It's fantastic. Look around the edge here. Nice little aluminum metal. If I turn, I get the four stoppers. I don't see any vents or anything. It's basically just straight this either aluminum or metal. It's really nice. No bend, no nothing here. Really nice. Let me show you real quick the front when you open it. So my most recent personal Chromebook has been a Toshiba Chromebook 2. And that one, I never know where to open it. It took a while for me to get comfortable opening it. If you look at this one, and I hope it can zoom right there, that's like the uh, front of the Chromebook Pixel when it's closed. It's a nice little lip to let you know exactly where to comfortably open it. Really, really like that. If we look on the back, you just have your hinges because this does go a full 360. I'll show you that in a minute. And then let's look at ports. So this one has no USB 3, so no conventional USB. I don't like that. I had to buy an adapter. It also has no HDMI out, so I had to buy a USB-C, which you see the C right there. You have the volume here, which I never use except in tablet mode. And then the power switch here. I don't like having the power switch there. It's like a phone. I like the power switch on the keyboard, which is not part of this device. And your mic and then one of the two speakers is right here. So I had to buy the adapters and the, the USB-C to HDMI adapter. That costs about like 20 bucks. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, if so if I look at this side, I have the micro SD, I have the USB-C, another USB-C. So the plug, the power goes in on both sides. So it can go in on both sides. I like that. And I have another uh, speaker. So anyway, if we open up this Chromebook, let's look at it conventional style. This screen is freaking beautiful. I love the screen. Now I know, and I've seen a Sandbook Chromebook Plus. I've seen that it has a better screen. The screen is really nice. The bezels are a little bit big and they that comes into play a little bit when it's a tablet, but for the most part, I really like it. Uh, the Asus, one of the things that held me back from buying an Asus was that I don't like the logo. It looks like a 1985 logo, but really I've had this a week. It's working really nicely. If we look here real quick, it has an Intel M3 processor. I don't know a lot about processors, but apparently it's decent and it does work really nice. Um, it is, I have multiple tabs open and it's going great. So as far as uh, um, appearance and attraction, when I first started using it, it reminded me of the Chromebook Pixel, which I once got to play with for about two days. It really did remind me of that, but also my wife noticed this and I kind of noticed it too. It looks a little Mac-like as well. It almost looks like a cross between a Pixel and a Mac, which is kind of cool. I like that. Um, let's see, anything else? This trackpad, really nice. And the best part, well, I don't know. There's a lot I like about this. The screen I really like, but this keyboard, oh my goodness, it feels perfect. And it's also backlit, unlike the Samsung Chromebook Plus or Pro. Uh, not that I'm starting a rivalry or anything, but anyway. So I like to think of this Chromebook as just an awesome Chromebook. And yes, if we you know, if we flip it, if we use a Play Store, which right now is in beta mode, it's not there yet. Uh, in the stable channel, um, but I like to think of it as an awesome Chromebook and hopefully if the Play Store gets integrated, that will make it even better. I put it in the beta channel and played with the Play Store. I use Google Expeditions. Think about that for teachers. You can run a Google Expedition from your laptop. How great would that be? But every time I did that, it crashed. Um, from there, I used some drawing apps that were really working nicely. I was really happy with it. Um, for this one, you want to use Google Keep right now. If you're not in the Play Store, Google Keep is the best really online drawing for this at the moment. Once the Play Store opens up, there'll be so many more. Um, but the beta channel was unstable. I was not a fan of it. I did not like it, so I put it back in stable. So no Play Store for now. Hopefully that will change soon. Anyway, keyboard's awesome. Screen is great. Let's look at some other form factors. Well, one, with a stylus, because this is a touchscreen, with the stylus, you don't want it like this, and then you don't want it in this kind of more theater mode. 
Because what I was noticing is it gets a little flimsy and shaky. I think that's kind of a problem for all of them. But then if I go to tent mode like this, and I don't know if you can, no, you can't see that. So if you just lay it like a tent, and this is the table right here, then you can draw pretty easily, and you can also use it in tablet to draw easily. I don't know if you heard that. I hope you did. I'll do that one more time. Put it into tablet mode. That snap into place. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's like a magnet or something. It's, it works out so great. Now, as you can see, it's not an ideal tablet. It's got the one bezel that's a little too big. It's 16 by nine. I will say, looking at this with a beautiful bright screen, and by the way, this is the screen all the way to the top. Looking at this, when you just like put it on your lap, it is beautiful. Uh, it's pretty free, you know, it's just, it's nice. I'm a fan. I'm really, as you can tell, I am a super fan. Um, but it's not an ideal la uh, tablet. And I'd like to say, like, think of that as an extra add-on once that comes and once they kind of perfect that. I use a stylus with it. And I know it doesn't come with a stylus like the Chromebook Plus or Pro, but really, I go into Google Keep and play with it and it looks and it all is working fine. Um, like I said, as long as you have it in tablet or tent mode, the stylus, any stylus you purchase on Amazon will work out just fine. So I think that's a bit of an overhype with the Chromebook Plus or Pro. I seem to be putting that down a lot anyway. Anyway, this is the Asus Chromebook a, a C302A or C302, whatever. Like I said, I'll link below. Thank you so much for watching this. Asus did not pay me at all. I've just bought it. I really like this. Um, like and subscribe, and please uh, comment below if you have any questions or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Thanks so much for watching.